the sun via solar generated electricity. But there are other ways the sun could create hydrogen. Here on the roof of the power station for the Massachusetts Institute of Technology is the test of a plan to make hydrogen from sunlight using the everyday miracle of photosynthesis. The gas making the bubbles in these green tubes comes from the power plant's smokestack. And the green stuff is algae. Ancestors of the algae here once grew in the ocean. But now the microscopic plants are feeding on the flu gases and growing in the sunlight. Imagine a black box that flu gases are coming into this box. Yeah. What's coming out of this box is renewable energy and clean gases. Okay? So instead of a black box, it's a green triangle. That's the only difference, okay? The algae in Isaac Berzin's green triangle absorb most of the pollutants in the flu gases leaving the gases some 80% cleaner. Every day the tubes are drained to collect the last 24 hours of growth. They're harvesting the algae in here? What, how do they... They just drain, use, use gravity. They just drain it out. It's like a cow. They take a little bit of milk from the cow. Yeah. And you live enough there for the, you know, for the new generation to catch up. The algae in the buckets have done a job power plant operators usually have to install expensive pollution control equipment to do. And that's to remove nitrogen oxides from their stack gases. The algae have also consumed most of the carbon dioxide, or CO2. So, now this has a lot of bad stuff in it. You wouldn't want to... No, actually not. Once, once the carbon, once the CO2 is turning into organic carbon, there's nothing bad in it. See, you mean a person could eat this? Yeah, actually, we, we start every morning. I'm shocked Listen. that the producers haven't made me eat this. Listen, I want to tell you something. We start every morning with a, with a glass of algae drink. Get out of here. Listen, I don't can, believe that. Listen, you, I, can, you, no, can get it, you can get it in Whole Foods. It's called a green machine, or there's all kinds of generic names for it. Basically, algae drink. It's, it's good for you. It's a health product. So after the algae eats all that bad stuff, yeah. It, it, it's just a nice piece of algae. Because, and because the chemistry changes. You're not making this to sell no, 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 it in the health no, 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 no. What do you do with it that okay. makes it profitable to the company that uses this machine? Okay, very simple. You can take this and use it as a renewable energy source. So the first thing you have to do is to dry it. How, how will you dry it? Well, the flue gases are very hot. So use this excess heat to dry this, uh, this goo stuff into something that looks like, like a powder. Okay? And... If you, yeah, okay, so, so you feel now in your hand the transfer of CO2 from a gas that no one knows what to do with it to a viable product. You feel it in your hand now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay? So that's a miracle. Today, power plant operators pay money to get rid of nitrogen oxides from their stack gases. And one day in the future, they may pay to get rid of carbon dioxide, too as evidence continues to mount that carbon dioxide from burning fossil fuels like coal is contributing to global warming. Isaac's idea is that power plants will install large arrays of his green triangles, earning money by cleaning the gases and also providing the raw material for what's called biogasification, a process for turning plant material into hydrogen. This process does end up putting carbon dioxide back into the air, but in a way, you you use the carbon twice. Correct. Exactly. So you get two hits at it. You correct. Get correct. Twice the use of the same amount exactly. of carbon. Exactly. So this doesn't prevent carbon from going into the atmosphere, no. but it it makes a, a bit more efficient use of exactly. the carbon. Exactly. Exactly. So that's one of the reasons we think it's going to catch because if you if you want to make an environmental revolution, you have to wait. Okay. One way is take stones and th throw stones on the bad guys. Okay. Another way, way is, so look guys, let's make more money. Yes, it's environmental, but let's make more money. So it's making a more, more efficient use of the current infrastructure of power production in this country. So in Isaac's vision, a byproduct of burning fossil fuels would be hydrogen, created from waste gases and sunlight captured by his algae. Let me see you. Go for it. Cheers, guys. And that seems to be a vision well worth a toast. <laughs> You can turn this into hydrogen? Yeah. All right, I'll drink to that. <laughs> hey, 